favorite reasons why we're on tour is because of Child Fund. And um, I was on the phone with Child Fund before I was doing all of this. And it was a really sobering conversation. Because a lot of times you can get caught in the lights and the curtain and the people and all the things that have to happen, the music, the video, all, all of the transportation. You can get your mind wrapped around so many different things. And it was the day before this, this tour started, I was talking with them. And I just remember this story being so rich and so pro potent that I decided, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell it every night because it meant something to me, and if it meant something to me, it might mean something to someone else. And um, Jeff, who works with Child Fund, he was in Kenya, and while he was there, he noticed that the water was very parasitic, children were dying, people were dying, it was a really rough living condition. And how they would draw the water was there was these puddles in the ground. And they would lay a towel in the puddle and then they would wring out the towel into their jar. That was their filtration system and that was how they got their water. And it was hot, it's Kenya. He had a water bottle, Aquafina, sitting in his pocket. And he said that he was sweating, that he was hot. And he noticed that there was this boy standing about 10 to 15 feet away from him at all times. Anywhere he went, the boy followed. And he was like, well, this is interesting. I wonder what this kid's do it, you know? And Jeff stopped at one moment and this little boy ran up to him and grabbed the water bottle and took off running. And he said, what in the world did that little kid do, that little rascal? He said, here he is taking my water bottle and I got a whole daggum truck full of water for him. I wish he would have just waited two seconds. I would have given him a whole case of water. I know he's thirsty, but dang it. Why did that kid take the water? Come on now. 10 minutes later or something like that, this kid comes running back to him. And he handed him a full water bottle. He took the puddle of water that they had and he wrung it out in the Aquafina bottle and gave it back to him. And through the translator, he said, I could see that you were thirsty and I just, I wanted to give you something to drink. So here's some of our water. And that was so real to me in the moment, just hearing this kid who might not have a lot, might lack a thing or two, being so generous and not seeing the condition that he lived in as a deficit, but knowing that from the wellspring of his heart, he could give something rich and real. He spread generosity. And that is so much greater than what we'll know on this side of heaven, I think. And when I, when I think about that story, I just think, man, I want to be someone who doesn't get so lost in all of this that I forget what nights like tonight are about. That is the reality. There are people on the other side of the world as we're sitting in here enjoying ourselves that are really struggling, hurting. But if you've given tonight, we are grateful for you. You make nights like tonight happen. And you just never know the life of someone who you might be changing. I want, that's all I care about. But at the end of the tour, if we have these children that are drinking clean water and have arms of love wrapped around them, giving them hope in the future, that is far beyond a great tour looks like. That's the thing that goes on and on and on. So thank you guys. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for helping us out. I really mean it. You're changing the world. I love child fun. Give the people in green a hug when you walk out.